2012-260, State of Arkansas versus Caleb Darnell. You know, this is on a pretrial also. Um, uh, there are no issues to be dealt with at uh, pretrial. Uh, Mr. Darnell was brought here uh, yesterday. We visited briefly at the jail, then again this morning. Uh, Judge, there is a plea offer I think that he may take, but I am not certain. I need to go over that with him if we could have, have him brought back this afternoon. Have him for 10 days so you can keep Well, we can, we can have him brought back this afternoon if we can get it resolved. That'd be all to our advantage. All right. We have 2007-69 on the revocation list. <coughs> this is State of Arkansas versus Lisa Carter. The honors are bringing her in. That, that case has been resolved, and here he will make the announcement to the court. It's going to be uh, modified to a contempt. Judge, upon a plea approved to a uh, amended charge of uh, contempt, we're going to sentence you 89 days in jail. Ms. Carter, you're appearing here today, and uh, pursuant to an agreement, uh, the state is willing to amend the charges from from uh, revocation to uh, contempt of court. Uh, on that charge, how do you now plead? True. You're ending this plea of true pursuant to an agreement that's been worked out by your attorney, Mr. Cooper. Is that correct? Yes, sir. And do you feel you understand the terms of the agreement and the punishment you're to receive? Yes, sir. The, uh, are you satisfied with the advice and representation Mr. Cooper has provided you? Yes, sir. Have you, uh, you understand by entering this plea of true that, um, that, are you, excuse me, are you entering this plea of true freely and voluntarily? Yes, sir. No one's forced you into entering the plea no, of sir. true. Uh, the, you understand by pleading uh, true, you're also giving up a right to a hearing. Even on a contempt, you would have a right to a hearing. It's not a jury trial, but it's a hearing in front of a judge. At that hearing, the state would have the burden of establishing that you had, in fact, committed acts that constitute contempt of court. Uh, at that hearing, you'd be entitled to be represented by an attorney and have the assistance of the attorney. At that hearing, you'd be entitled to confront the witnesses against you and have that attorney assist you in doing so by cross-examining those witnesses at, at the hearing. And you'd also have a right to appeal. All of those are rights you're giving up by entering a plea of true. Do you understand that? Yes, sir. And understanding that, are you still willing to enter the plea of true? Yes, sir. Are you entering this plea of, well, I've already asked you if you've entered it freely and voluntarily. In, in entering this plea of true, do you acknowledge that you, in fact, have committed acts that constitute uh, contempt of the court's previous order? Yes, sir. Based on that statement, the court accepts your plea of true, and at this time, pursuant to the agreement, uh, will uh, assess 89 days in the Baxter County Detention Center. Your credit days up in there. Yeah, the uh, agreement obviously uh, also gives her credit for time served. Credit for time served. That's right. Thank you, Judge. You may be excused. 